I don't know how else to get you to understand this. No, 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 because you don't get it. No, I've actually been losing weight and it just feels like, hold on, scam. This is a scam. And it's like, how could it be a scam? <laughs> it's real life. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a weight loss video, but I honestly felt like I couldn't lose weight and I felt like I was a fraud and the methods that I was using, they work, but the weight kept coming back every time I stopped. And again, if something is not working for me, if I'm not successful in something, I would never teach it. I'm super, super happy to be back. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to actually lose belly fat. There are so many tips out there that swears. Hey this is how you lose belly fat no you gotta do this you gotta do this do the ones that i'm gonna give you are proven scientifically personally and after carefully watching a lot of people that has lost a significant amount of weight i can finally see what i wasn't doing that made me almost give up on my weight loss journey and so i'm so happy to be back so if you feel like it is so hard to lose weight in your stomach everything you try the fat is still there it's very stubborn and if you also feel like your stomach is the last place where you lose weight this video is for you we need to know and understand that everybody can lose lose weight it's the method that they choose that dictates their results and so you've probably been using the wrong method you've probably been going about it in an unhealthy way trying to be healthy it's probably just a simple fix that you just haven't figured out yet like in my case and so with that being said the very first tip that I have for you guys that is guaranteed that is proven to help you actually lose belly fat is to be in a caloric deficit now I know whenever you hear caloric deficit it's like so bougie it's so complicated at least that's where my mind went whenever I was thinking about it but no y'all listen all you have to do is eat less than you normally would whenever you were gaining weight or staying at a stagnant weight I want to share with you guys some ways that you could eat less without starving yourself because starving yourself is never the key because your body's gonna get frustrated and when you finally get a chance to eat again you're gonna overdo it you're gonna binge and then guess what you're gonna be disappointed in yourself because it didn't have to go that far speaking of binging I know so much about binging especially as women around the time of the month it just gets super crazy so do not starve yourself here are some ways that you could healthily eat less and lose belly fat all right the very first way is to intermittent fast i have said this countless numbers of times intermittent fasting is basically when you don't eat for a period of time and then you eat for another period of time so normally people would just not eat before 12 p.m and not eat after 7 59 p.m so you know from 12 to basically 8 you have that time frame to eat now when you're eating you do want to be mindful of what you're eating but at the same time like you could eat you get me so if you're like me and sometimes it's just really hard for you to not eat breakfast or really hard for you to wait until that 12 p.m time slot what you can do is drink some coffee what i've been doing lately is i've been going to racetrack it's like a gas station i've been getting some coffee i'll just have that at like nine in the morning and it would hold me all the way until 1 p.m now i'm not saying don't eat until 1 p.m 12 p.m is the goal but coffee is a natural appetite suppressant so whatever hunger you have is going to suppress it you're not neglecting yourself of food but you're helping yourself get through those morning hours before 12 p.m so you don't have to eat anything caffeine is also great as an energy boost of course you all know this the main reason why we eat is to get energy into function so the fact that coffee can not only suppress your appetite but also make you feel full especially if you add like a healthy creamer to it it also gives you that energy that you would get from eating breakfast but from just drinking coffee and also i'm gonna need you to take notes because don't let these tips go over your head they're extremely easy extremely symbol and for a person that thinks weight loss is so hard or like losing belly fat is so hard you need to be taking notes remind yourself that hey there are easier ways to do this and more practical ways to do this and you should definitely just go for it don't think about it so much yeah, i'm looking at you legitimately go for it speaking of burning fat i do want to talk to you guys about these new supplements that i've been implementing in my daily routine to help me burn fat faster these are all from inno subs and i'm gonna let future me take over these are the only weight loss supplements that i take when it comes to my weight loss journey and i feel like everything that i've struggled with these supplements have taken care of this is inno subs powerful female vitality stack and this was created with women in mind this stack contains key vitamins minerals and nutrients known to help enhance female vitality vitality and performance in the gym bedroom and beyond i had to start with my favorite this is the night shred black edition y'all you could get this with melatonin or without i got the one without but this helps you sleep deeper and longer it also boosts your metabolism it enhances overnight muscle recovery and it naturally relieves stress y'all not to mention this bad boy burns fat while you sleep at this point this is an answered prayer i never knew something like this existed so it just blows my mind how amazing these supplements are so what you want to do 
is just take three capsules 30 minutes before you sleep with or without food i love that most of their supplements you could take them with or without food because sometimes i do not want to eat and i have to take my supplements next they have the hair skin and nails vegan collagen booster y'all when i say yeah, they have everything they have everything for my girl but this helps protect your skin cells from uv rays it also boosts your skin's elasticity it prevents age spots and y'all it evens your skin tones yes from a supplement i do not know about y'all but summer is coming up and i'm gonna be using these religiously okay i need my hair skin and nails to be going crazy but when taking these you just get two capsules anytime during the day again with or without food this is the endo drive for her this promotes healthy hormone balance it improves cognitive function and brain health it helps stimulate and support your libido and it also boosts arousal and stimulation i absolutely love how a lot of endo subs products help with stress because stress is such a major factor when it comes to our health and i've never heard of a supplement that boosts your energy in the gym in the bedroom and beyond so this is really an all you need supplement and not to mention an absolute staple i love how everything in this female vitality stack is just necessary <laughs> so for these you're just gonna take two of them any time of day with or without food which we love this is the complete pms support and i'm gonna need you guys to not sleep on this this is so crucial for my ladies out there and i had to experience it firsthand to be able to tell you guys about it you guys know whenever we're on our cycle we are not the same person like our diet does not exist it's just truly hard so with this complete pms support it's gonna help ease that occasional pms discomfort it's also gonna help support a healthy menstrual cycle it's gonna combat unhealthy cravings which y'all put your hands up because i know you're guilty of it and it's gonna promote a balanced mood our moods I don't even have to say anything about it because this is a female vitality stack i truly feel like it wouldn't have been complete without this product so that's very thoughtful for these you want to take two capsules any time of day seven days before your period and on your period but that is the female vitality stack y'all don't forget it's going to help you support your hormone balance improve libido and sexual health it's going to enhance circulation it's going to relieve pms symptoms it's going to support brain and immune health and it's also going to maximize sleep and recovery basically everything you need are in these capsules so run to the checkout do not even walk <laughs> everything will be linked below and again thank you so much to no subs for sponsoring this video okay we are still in the sub category of how to eat less which is still under my first tip so another way you could eat less is to drink water before your meals or with your meals so drinking a lot of water with your food in general will help you feel fuller a lot of times whenever we're eating and we're like oh my gosh how come i'm not full yet babes did you drink anything? A lot of the times we're just thirsty and our body's asking after something and we think it's just more food. Like, oh, okay, I need dessert now. But like, babes, you need some hydration. The water is the solution. Definitely a little hack that would trick your brain into thinking you are full. All right, so the last little sub tip that I have for you guys, I mean, the main first tip, keep in mind that this is only tip number one. The last little sub tip that I have for you guys is you can try to sleep longer because whenever you sleep, what are you not doing? You're not eating. And also sleeping is really good for weight loss. I'll get more into to that later but definitely sleep longer and if you don't have to wake up too early in the morning you could just take advantage and get some wall needed rest because those hours that you're knocking out with sleeping could have been hours that you were fighting hunger if you're not like a caffeine drinker or something so yeah definitely try to incorporate these things that i just gave you guys when it comes to your hunger when it comes to your stomach because it is really simple we just have to have the knowledge and apply it so you that's watching this video you would make me so proud if you actually applied these things that I'm giving to you. Actually get up. Matter of fact, you don't even have to wait until tomorrow morning or tomorrow or next week or next month. Like, get up now and start applying them. There is no perfect time for you to start doing better for yourself. I'm looking at you. I'm holding you accountable. Make me proud. All right. Tip number two is you need to know that your body is a fat burning machine. Without you doing anything, without you having to go to the gym, without you having to go on a walk, without you having to do anything, you are burning calories. You are burning fat. Like that just naturally happens. It's called a metabolism. So actively your body is using whatever you're giving it as food, as energy, and it's also breaking down calories. So you don't necessarily mean to go to the gym and do extensive cardio and kill yourself, make yourself extremely tired just to lose weight. You don't need to do that all the time. Cardio is really good and really great for your heart, but at the same time, you don't need to do it every single day like if you don't feel like doing cardio don't create like a hate relationship with cardio because cardio is truly a great thing but don't overdo it so like i was saying your body is a natural fat burner a natural calorie burner and we need to learn how to use that to our advantage so i have
have a few ways. This is the thing about me. I'm not just going to give you tips and just leave you astray. I'm going to give you the tip and I'm going to give you ways to do it because everybody is different. And one way is not just going to work for everyone. So I'm going to give you ways to do every tip that I'm going to give you. So the first method to take advantage of your body being a natural calorie burning machine is let's say you live in an apartment complex or in a community and there are parking spots. One thing you could do is park farther so you could walk longer to get to your apartment. You could take the stairs on certain days incorporating little changes that makes you move and help your body and help that process that it's already doing which is burning fat and burning calories helping your body do what it naturally does is gonna go a long way because this is gonna be a consistent thing it's not strenuous it's not killing you it's not something that's hard it's just little natural things that eventually build up to be something really big there are legitimate simple small ways you can help yourself and we don't think about that because to us weight loss is just so important because that's the end goal and so with it being so important we put so much emphasis on like okay i need to do this the hardest way i need to do this the biggest way when it comes to eating a caloric deficit just eat less than you normally would like in the beginning of your weight loss journey you don't have to have everything figured out i guarantee you if you just eat less than you normally would by incorporating the tips that I told you about earlier and also helping your body do what it naturally does which is burning calories and burning fat you're gonna go such a long way so right now just be mindful of what you're eating and just keep track mentally this next tip I feel like has been my downfall for my weight loss journey and for me having to start it over is because this was like deeply rooted in my brain from whatever it is that I've watched whatever it is that I've learned like this lie has just been my truth for the entire time I've been trying to lose weight. It wasn't until I was like, Daphne, you actually cannot lose weight. Like, you just can't do it, man. Like, <laughs> Let me correct myself. I can lose weight. Like, I can lose 15 pounds in the next month, like, easily. Like, I could do it, right? My issue, which I'm sure is a lot of you guys' issue as well, my issue is keeping, oh Lord, help me, keeping it off. There are just some people that are very disciplined and they're able to lose weight like that and keep it off. The key is to keep it off because I'm sure even you have lost a significant amount of weight, but it just can't came back and that's what kept happening to me it just came back that's why I took such a big hiatus from YouTube the weight just kept coming back like I would do challenges I would lose weight I would change my lifestyle I would lose weight but it just kept coming back I have learned this one tip I have been using it for the past week and I've actually been losing weight y'all do not stop eating what you love bro Every single time I went on a diet, I'm like, I'm gonna cut out white rice, I'm gonna buy brown rice, I'm gonna buy leaves, I'm gonna buy blend foods, I'm not gonna season my food how I like it. Like, bro, setting myself up a failure because, like, all these things, that's not how I grew up. Like, I'm Haitian, I grew up with my food seasoned, I grew up eating carbs, I grew up with all of these things. And I never once asked myself, how come, Daphne, how come when you were younger eating all these foods? I probably ate more when I was younger, actually, but you never gained weight. How come while eating all these foods you never gain weight like you like i never asked myself that and it's not until now i'm just like when i was younger though i was very strict with when i ate and how much i ate and also when i was younger if i was full baby i was saving the food for leftovers that's the problem let me explain you can eat whatever you want in moderation there it is the video is over i don't know how else to get you to understand this it's actually scientifically proven like weight loss professionals have actually said this and studied this it works better in the long run and what is our issue i'm guessing this is your issue too but what is our issue the fact that we can lose weight but we cannot lose it in the long run we cannot be consistently losing weight it's always okay huge weight loss and then bam right back to what we said like it doesn't make any sense it's discouraging but this is what i've been missing personally and if you guys have also not really been introduced to this start doing it okay i've actually been losing weight and it just feels like hold on scam this is a scam and it's like how could it be a scam <laughs> it's real life and so i've just been feeling really good and i wanted to share with you guys you guys know me if i find anything out when it comes to weight loss you guys are on this journey with me like don't look at me as like your teacher babes we are literally best friends on facetime and i'm just telling you guys what i've learned but yeah your lifestyle think about it don't you want to be eating foods that you love on your weight loss journey like yes healthy foods can be delicious but it's not for everyone if you don't love what you're eating you're not really gonna be happy 
in the long run like this is the thing so yeah if you normally eat like a huge plate of unhealthy food like macaroni barbecue ribs or whatever the case like eat half of it like it's just that simple because guess what you're eating less than you normally would now with that being said i don't mean okay all i have to do is eat the foods that i love in moderation that's it like no Come on, stop playing, okay? This is where what I believe then is partially true, which is you have to eat healthy. So you need to make sure most of the time you're eating healthier as well. So you're eating less and healthier as well. Do you get it? If you have any questions about that, let me know below, but it just makes sense to me. It's still a new thing to me. I'm still trying it out, but in the first week of using it, I have lost three pounds. You don't understand. No, 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 because you don't get it. Normally, I would lose about four to five pounds in a week doing severe, like, oh my gosh. The stress severe workouts severe healthy eating but i've been eating what i love i just been eating less of it and the fact that i'm losing weight it doesn't make sense to me it's very foreign to me so if you have questions let me know below i'll do more research on it and i will probably make another video about it or just bring you guys on my journey but definitely this is the key this is what i've been missing and if you've watched this far go ahead and subscribe because i just gave you the key to everything you was looking for in life it was like come on anyways y'all my last tip i'm gonna go ahead and pull it up right here the last tip is you need to make sure you're getting enough sleep there are so many benefits of sleeping it's great for your mind and for a lot of people whenever they're stressed sleep is normally the answer and guess what whenever they're stressed they also gain a lot of weight i know me i think i'm a weight gainer when I'm stressed, sleeping just to make sure everything is regulated in your body. Like everything that's supposed to go high, where it's supposed to go, that's what sleep is here for. You're resting and your body needs rest. So those were my tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which tip was your favorite. You guys already know which one was mine. Number three all the way, okay? But do not forget to check out Inno Subs and their Vitality Stack. I'm gonna link them down below in the description box for you guys. These supplements have helped me out a bunch and you guys already know losing weight is not the easiest thing in the world, but to have help like that is always, always beneficial. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other videos you wanna see next. If you guys wanna see me do like a weight loss challenge, let me know as well because I wanna start getting back into those. And I'm thinking the salt water flush might be next. Let me know what you guys think, but I love you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>